So we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome and uh, good evening. Um, welcome to the community meeting for the South Cravens Road Haz Hazardous Road Overtopping Mitigation Project. My name is Bert Gidry. I'm the project manager for the city. Also here we have uh, Jane Weedmer, who's the assistant project manager, and I believe Rich Diot was going to join us. He's the design engineering consultant. Um, so on this slide, I've also included the uh, pro project website along with a QR code to that website. So if you're wanting to get any updates on the project as we move forward to construction, you can uh, go to this this uh, link here. And I also uh, I'll add this at the end of the slide at the end of the end of the presentation as well. So in case you don't get it here, you can you can grab it later. So this slide was the general. Bert, location. I missed it. Bert, I missed it. Did you start the recording? Yes, I am recording. Okay, thank you. So this slide shows the general location of the project, which uh, here's Loop A20. Project location is here, so we're east of uh, Loop A20. Um, down here is Will Barger. East Barry is up here, just a little bit off the map, and Lake Arlington is here, so we're west of Lake Arlington. Uh, more specifically, Oakdale Drive is on the southern boundary of the project limits, and Baylor Street is on the northern end of the project limits. So if you've driven by the site in the last several months, uh, you would have noticed that the road was closed and barricaded. So the uh, the city's placed these barriers to close the section of the roadway at the culvert crossing, but it's it's not as as a result of uh, current flood dangers or the upcoming construction. It's it's due to the con condition of the bridge culvert, which is structurally unsound. So looking at the uh, these bullet points here. Uh, this road closure is going to remain in place until construction of the new culverts complete. Um, it's due to an unsafe bridge crossing. Um, engineers have looked at it and evaluated the condition and determined that it, that intermediate repairs are not feasible. And once again, it's not related to the flooding or the proposed construction project. So please stay off of this bridge. Uh, we have pr previously placed some barriers up there that people were moving and driving across there. So hopefully these are more permanent so people won't be driving across it. So looking at why we closed it. So here in the upper left, you can see this is the bridge slab up here with the uh, culvert wall, the middle culvert wall span here in, in between. You can see there's a gap there, significant gap between the slab and the wall. Um, if you're inside the culvert, looking at the wall, you can see here's here's a gap again between the slab up here on the top and the wall, and there's significant cracking along the wall. And if you look inside the culvert at the slab of the culvert, so this this slab is supposed to be resting on soil, so there's a a cutout in the in the slab, and you can see there's a pretty decent void underneath it, maybe uh, eight to twelve inches. So there's fear that this thing could sink, and uh, so that's why the road is closed at this time. So back to the project itself. So this slide shows kind of a more detailed location of the pro project extents. Um, so here's Oakdale Drive. The project is right here, South Cravens Road and Baylor Street. And um, so you can see here's the floodplain here in the blue and the uh, the floodway in the red. And so you can see that the floodplain actually overtops South Cravens Road right here. Part of it is inhibited from the label, but all this section is in the floodplain. So it's it's definitely getting uh, overtopped during the hundred year storm and uh, even lesser events. And here's some examples of that. Um, so in recent years, there's been a couple of vehicles washed off the roadway and into the creek by stormwater overtopping the roadway. 
uh, one of these resulted in a fatality and um, but the other one the individual was fortunate enough to escape the vehicle so here the image on the left was taken during the most recent rescue of the culvert crossing and the image on the right shows the abandoned car in the creek afterwards So we'll go through the pro project scope. So the purpose of the project is, is to mitigate the overtopping of the roadway by the hazardous stormwater uh, during intense rainfall events. So to accomplish this, um, measures would be taken to, um, to construct the uh, culvert improvements. So first thing we would do is remove the existing double barrel, eight foot wide by six foot high culvert and we would replace it with a new seven barrel 10 foot wide by nine foot high culvert and we would add erosion protection at the culvert we would also raise the roadway profile so that's above the 100 year floodplain and we would also be adding underground storm drains for the roadway drainage and so while the road is under construction we'll also be doing some other improvements uh, such as sidewalks and uh, traffic rails and um, a metal beam guard fence um, and new water lines and also adding some street lighting. So this slide is kind of rotated so that if you look over here, north is to the right. So that way you, know, you can see Cravens doesn't go up and down, it goes left and right. Oakdale here, Baylor Street here, and you can see this blue line here is the rough center line of the existing creek. And currently right here is an existing double barrel, eight foot wide by six foot high culvert. So this shows the approximate uh, location of the new culvert, which would be a seven barrel, 10 foot wide by nine foot high. Culvert. So you can see that's several times larger than the existing culvert. And then also down here in the lower right, you can see a roadway profile. So this uh, dark line on, that I'm pointing to right now is, would be the center line of the roadway elevation. Each one of these grids is a one foot elevation. So that would be the center line of the roadway proposed after construction. And here you can see the proposed seven barrel culvert that we'd be adding. And down here, this is the existing roadway profile, this dash line down here. So you can see that you know, right about here, you're a good six feet higher in the future than you are in the current condition. So we're raising the roadway significantly. So um, here we can see the approximate limits of the concrete pavement that we'll be putting. This will be a concrete pavement with curbs. Um, we'll have some asphalt transitions back to the existing roadway on each end, here on the north side, on the, on the south side. And we'll be also adding sidewalks along each side of the roadway, along the project limits. So since the um, proposed street is going to include curbs, we're going to have uh, curb inlets at a couple locations, at a low point here and a low point over here in the roadway. And those will connect to an underground uh, stormwater uh, storm drain system that will eventually connect to the culvert. And we will also be uh, replacing an old water line there with a new water line within the project limits. That's this blue line right here. So this shows a um, cross section of the proposed tree at locations other than the culvert crossing. Um, so you can see we'll have concrete pavement with curbs and we'll have a 15 foot southbound lane 
in a 15 foot northbound lane and we'll have a five foot wide sidewalk on each side and then here's a cross section of the proposed street at the culvert crossing location so um, once again we'll have a concrete curb street 15 foot lane southbound and a 15 foot lane northbound um, at the uh, culvert crossing location the sidewalks will extend the uh, from the back of the curb out eight and a half feet and we'll have uh, uh, combination rails at the culvert head walls So here's our anticipated schedule. Um, we should be wrapping up the design in the next few weeks. So um, right here we show September of this year and then, then we'll proceed to bid and award the project towards the end of the year, um, starting construction in the spring. And construction should take less than a year, so it should be done early 2026. So right now the uh, current estimate of construction cost is about 3.3 million. So this, in the current condition and until construction is complete, we'll we'll have this uh, uh, roadway detour. So we're currently, people going northbound would have to detour to the west among you know along one of these several streets here and get to the frontage road and then go back on Grayson Street back to Cravens. Southbound is a little bit more um, complicated. You have to go west to the access road up to East Barry, cross over Loop 820, back down all the way to Bull Barger and cross back over to Cravens. A little bit more involved there. So now we can open up the floor to any questions that we have. I have a question. Go ahead. Who's, who's speaking? Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Bivens. Oh. Hello, Mayor Pro Tem Bivens. I want to thank staff for putting together what I think is a, a wonderful, informative presentation. You know, but as usual, since COVID, you know, it's hard to get this information out to as many people as possible. Is there any way you could share the link to this presentation with the members of the public who are on so that they might be able to share it with their neighbors and people they know in the area? Could you share that link with all? Yeah, I think we could probably put it on our website um, since we'll have a recording of this. Yeah, I know, I know it's on the site, but it's easier if you know you could you, you've got the people on here now, if there's a way to put it in here. If not, we could make it a, a way to make it available to the public. But I think, you know, this is this is a big project coming up, but it's not coming up soon. But people need to know that help is on the way with this, this problem. Bert, is there some way we could put it in the chat? Uh, I don't I know hoping. if it's linked. Um, well, where would it go to? It would be a link to well, what? Or, no, Bert, what we could do is put a link to the project page in, okay. the, in the chat and that way they can link to that because that project page so let's let's look into doing that real quick yeah I thank can do that. you bert we have that link uh the qr code on the first page it's, it's right okay. here uh, oops. can you can you copy that and paste it in there jane that would be a big help Jane, can you copy that and paste that in the chat? Yes, I'll work on it. Okay. All right. Thanks. It's a good presentation. Thank you so much. I'm going to mute myself and just listen. Have any other questions? So here again, like, like on the first page, here is the QR code along with the um, project website, and we're going to have someone paste that in the chat here in a minute, to make it easier to, uh, to access. 
And also uh, just wanted to point out that there's a My Fort Worth app that uh, makes reporting things easier to the city. So um, if you're a resident in the city and you, you need to report things, go ahead and get this app and it'll make it, make it a lot easier for you. Looks like Jane has posted that in the chat, so anyone can copy and paste it now. And um, later on this week or next week, this uh, presentation will be updated to the web page. Put on the website, and maybe we can put the, um, you know, not just the, the recording of it, but maybe the uh, presentation itself. That'd be great. Okay, I'm out. Have a good one. Thank you. Good questions, I'll listen to them when you guys load it up. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'll give it a couple more minutes. Any anyone uh any other questions? And you can type them at the chat in the chat if you so prefer. All right, I'm not hearing anything else, so uh, everyone have a, we'll go ahead and adjourn, adjourn the meeting and everyone have a, a good and safe evening. Thank you for coming. Thank you.